Let's get to the other big issue, yeah. which is the steroid issue. And here you have now, you're back on the field. You have Sosa McGuire bring your sport back with the home run chase. And we know this, and I can tell you this because not even with you, but Gene Orza and Fear, we knew very well here. And Gene Orza, I know very well from Runyon's from when I was a kid. Right. And Gene loved to argue. And I argued this with Gene, and they were dead adamant that this was a personal, a privacy issue. This was not anything that should ever be legislated. And Gene was like adamant. The union was adamant. And they, I said, yeah, Gene, you're so wrong. It's going to kill the sport. And they're like, I said, what about the Olympics? What do you mean it's a privacy issue? It's a privacy issue. This is, is not worse than smoking cigarettes. He was so far out there on that. You had to deal with that. You're trying to keep labor peace at a time where you just came off a World Series you're being canceled. You're you're so you wind up not getting testing for years because of that. Be, uh, well, and, you know, it, it's interesting, and I'll say it's interesting. Were you and the owners as far... W where was your position compared to theirs, which was clearly they didn't want any testing? Oh, where well, were you guys? Over on the other side. You wanted testing. Well, here's what happened. In eighty in, uh, 98, when um, um, Wilstein found a bottle of Anjo in, in uh, McGuire's locker, right? and uh, I knew we had a problem. The best Rob could get, I mean, I'll take you quickly, year by year, was to go to Harvard and study Anjo. I said to Ron, 2000, I ban it in the minor leagues because unilaterally I can do that. Now we're, we're, we're in 202, right to the deadline, August 31st. The last item, 7 o'clock in the morning, Tommy Glavin had come in, and everybody wanted to make a deal, but it was painful. And Rob, kept, Rob Manfred kept saying to me, Commissioner, 5% test positive we got, that was the deal. And I didn't like it. It was weak. But it was the best we could do. And to be frank with you, I just didn't think another work stoppage at that time. It, it, we had, it had been a painful recovery. It turned out it was all right. By, you know, by 2003, over 5% tested positive. But it was like pulling teeth. And it was, it was, it was brutal. Did Every, Bonds make a mockery of the game for you? Well, with um, his performance, I mean, you, you're best friends with Henry Aaron. Right. He's the home run king. Here's the guy who's going to break his records. And here's a guy that everyone knows or believes he's cheating. And the union's trying to protect him. And this is right. a guy who, as is, you, Reggie states in your book, hey, lucky they didn't, pit, they didn't pitch to him. If they pitched to him, he would have hit 100 home runs. Right. I mean, that's Look, basically I, it. You know, as I said in the book, and I'll, it, uh, there were things that went on that were painful for me. That was one of them. And it wasn't because of my relationship. Henry and I have been friends for 60 years. It really wasn't. He called, Henry would call me a lot. And but Bonds asked you to be a go-between with he Henry, did. and you refused. I did. I didn't think the commissioner of baseball should be a go-between. And Henry hadn't returned his call and never did. Right. So, so and he asked you to be the go-between. He, yes. he did ask me, yeah. and I said to Barry at the time, you're asking the commissioner to be a go-between in a business deal? I said, no, I don't think so.